Hello guys and welcome to CryptoBull. In this video I'm going to explain you the difference between Binance and Binance DEX. How they are different and what makes these two different and both of these are cryptocurrency exchanges where you can swap cryptocurrencies but the difference with binance is firstly if you are using binance this is the native cryptocurrency exchange which is centralized exchange where binance dex supposed to be decentralized exchange however it is not so decentralized as it sounds because binance dex or binance decentralized exchange is controlled by binance itself so as behind the binance dex there is also a huge charges if you decide to list a cryptocurrency for example if you would like to list a cryptocurrency on binance dex you will need to pay 1500 bnb and obviously Binance is profiting from Binance DEX whenever you are listing your token on Binance DEX. But how these are different? Firstly guys, Binance itself, it is a centralized exchange. It is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges. And how centralized exchange are different from decentralized exchange is that with centralized exchanges, if you want to use a centralized exchange, whether it's a KuCoin, whether it's a Binance, whether it's FTX, whether it's a Bybit, and many others which are out there you need to create account with these exchanges and by creating the, your account with these exchanges you need to provide information about you you need to do KYC where you don't need to do it with decentralized exchanges and Binance Dex assumes exactly that and if you have been using other decentralized exchanges like for example PancakeSwap or for example Uniswap which is a decentralized exchange for Ethereum where Pancake swap is a decentralized exchange for BEP20 tokens which are also BSC Binance Smart Chain tokens then Binance DEX is also a similar cryptocurrency exchange however this is still very different because this Binance DEX if we click here as we go here in exchange guys here you will see that there are two types of tokens these are BEP2 tokens and these are tokens if you would want to list on this Binance DEX you would need to pay 1500 500 BNB to list them. However, there are also mini tokens, which are BEP8 tokens. And if you would like to list this, this wouldn't cost you really anything. So usually if you would be using this Binance DEX or Binance Decentralized Exchange, you would be clicking into BEP2 because most of if that project is really valid guys they would list it on BEP2 that would be listed here on BEP2 and if you will click in you will see that this user interface is exactly the same as with centralized exchanges where if you have been using for example Uniswap or if you have been using PancakeSwap you know yourself guys that there on those exchanges there is only one tab where you can enter which currency you would like to change to uh, which currency another huge difference between native Binance where you can buy trade hodl over 600 plus different cryptocurrencies is that on Binance main which is centralized exchange you can exchange different cryptocurrencies this means that you can exchange them and transfer them to their native wallets for example if you have bitcoin you would like to exchange it to any other cryptocurrency you can send it to binance and you can exchange it for example on ethereum and you can exchange it to the ethereum blockchain cryptocurrency and there are other different wrapped cryptocurrencies like wrapped ethereum on different other blockchains but the main idea is that on Binance you can exchange cryptocurrencies and you can send them, transfer them and you can buy them here even on Binance on the native blockchains which means that if you buy let's say Bitcoin on Binance you can buy original Bitcoin and when you buy original Bitcoin you can send it to original blockchain to original Bitcoin wallet where on Binance DEX you can trade only Binance chain cryptocurrencies which means that on Binance DEX you can trade only cryptocurrencies which are whether wrapped for example as you can see here there is Nexo or there is Matic here you can also trade Matic and this is wrapped Matic native Matic it will by using bridge it 
it was transferred to Binance chain. So you can trade it here on Binance chain. And to interact with Binance chain, you connect wallet instead of creating account. For example, on Binance, like I mentioned earlier on, if you would like to trade, you will need to create account, you will need to create your own profile, and you will need to provide your own details, where if you are using Binance Dex, your profile or your account will be your wallet, and you can connect it at any time. And to, you can connect a Trust Wallet, or for example, you can connect a Binance Wallet. I will be creating in one of my future videos, guys, Binance Dex tutorial, where I will connect this wallet. As you can see, I have a wallet here. If I click on it, this is a Binance Wallet. And in my future video, I will how to create wallet, and how to use wallet with Binance Dex, and how to buy here, and how to transfer it to Atomic Wallet. We have been discussing Atomic Wallet also in my one of my previous videos, but there is AWC tokens, which I am also investing, which I am buying, which I am adding to my portfolio. If you are interested in all my portfolio, which way I am already starting to gather or starting to scale in to for 2024, guys, link is in description. So as in that playlist, I am also listing all these tutorials, which I am showcasing you here, guys. But in general, there will be a video on how to use Binance Dex. But the main thing, like I mentioned, to sum it up, guys, Binance Dex is only for Binance Chain tokens. You can trade native Ethereum, you can trade native like Solana, you can trade native Bitcoin, but you can trade them only if they are wrapped. You can use bridge. If we go here, guys, on Binance Chain, you can see here that there is the bridge. You, this means that you can use this bridge to move from Ethereum blockchain to Binance Chain, some cryptocurrency, and then you can trade it on Binance Dex. And like I mentioned previously, if we scroll down, there is exchange. If you will click there, you will see that there is tokens, which is using this Binance Chain, and there is this mini tokens, which you can add pretty much for free. But if we will click into them, you will see that there is no trading pretty much going on, because it is cheap to, to create these, and there are many projects, I believe, who created them. They are some maybe rug pull projects or scam projects, as you see, there are different cryptocurrencies here, guys like JPIN, B, B, JPIN, as you can see, there is no trading volume at all, there is ALF BNB, there is no trading volume at all, there is some some other like ANK BNB, there is no volume at all. However, if we go back and if we will click, for example, in tokens of BEP2, you will see that those have actually volume. Like, for example, we could use TWT BNB pair, you can see that there is a volume more in any other of these, as you see, CXRP, BNB, there is also some volume here. But these XRP, they are not on native XRP blockchain, guys. This means that these XRP, which you are seeing here, these are wrapped by using bridge and these XRP are on Binance chain. So even if you will be using like Binance wallet, like I mentioned, I will be creating video and there I will explain you everything in greater detail. You can send it to your XRP wallet, like XRP native wallet. You can send it only on Binance wallet on Binance chain, guys. So yes, guys, hope that you get the idea how it is different but in general Binance is centralized exchange where you are creating account where you are trading native cryptocurrencies where on Binance Dex you can trade only cryptocurrencies which are built on Binance chain as you can see there is also explored apps and on Binance Dex like I already mentioned earlier your account is your wallet similar as you for example use Uniswap or if you are use PancakeSwap your wallet is where you connect your wallet and where you are using this exchange in this case Binance Dex to trade these different crypto Currencies. And if you are buying, if you are selling, those cryptocurrencies will be added to your wallet. In my case, I will be showcasing this Binance wallet in one of my future videos where I will show you how to interact and how to buy and sell and how to send cryptocurrencies which you have bought here on Binance Dex. So yes, guys. Hope that you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one.